Rumors about Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis splitting have surfaced due to Ashton's friendship with Diddy, following the rapper's recent arrest for Photos of Ashton with Diddy and his past comments on their friendship fueled the speculation. However, a source has slammed the split rumors, calling them ridiculous and false. Ashton has only seen Diddy at a few social and business events. Meanwhile, Ashton and Mila previously faced backlash for writing letters supporting Danny Masterson during his rape conviction. This is how Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have completely ruined their careers and why they've faded into the background. It was reported that Mila had moved out of the house after PDD's arrest because Ashton was good friends with him in the past. They've now said that that's complete rubbish and Ashton was only associated with him for business purposes. However, he spoke about being friends with P. Diddy in many interviews, even saying in one that he had lots to tell about his parties, but he couldn't. He was also pictured at his birthday party. The couple have also hidden behind the scenes because of another few controversies. First, Danny Masterson, who was their co-star on the show, That 90s Show, was accused of raping two women in the early 2000s. This happened just last May and Danny asked Mila and Ashton to write a letter of defence to the judge. And stupidly, they did. They called him an outstanding older... We have a new blind item about Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. The current wife of this former A-list, mostly television actor from multiple hit shows has moved into a different property they own. She wants distance when the videos, including him, start to leak. And there are several media outlets questioning whether this couple is getting a divorce. And this all comes after a resurfaced video of Ashton Kutcher in 2019 talking about Diddy's freak off parties. Diddy party stories they're our favorite genre of anecdote if oh, you really? have one yeah wow okay i've got a lot i can't tell <laughs> so um <sighs> i can't tell that one either <laughs> i mean i'm like actually cycling through them I feel like well we still have some time to go you know i can blow it here okay <laughs> feel free <laughs> diddy party stories man that was like some weird memory lane it's not Ugh. First Danny Masterson, now P. Diddy. Don't really think these are just coincidences, huh? And it was just this past weekend that articles were saying that Ashton and Mila had taken their kids on separate outings in LA after the controversial Diddy clip resurfaced. And this brings me to Ashton Kutcher's anti-trafficking not-for-profit. I can't help but wonder now if this was all just a way for him to have easy access to people. And back in September of 2023, he did resign, and that came after he got a lot of backlash over Danny Masterson. Whether these two are going to be separated, divorced, just remember that Mila Kunis also wrote letters for Danny Masterson. You know what they say, birds of a feather flock together. While I was busy making all three parts of my last videos, I realized that Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis put out an apology video. I don't know if you guys will agree with me, but doesn't it seem like Ashton feels completely emotionally drained? But in the video, he does say he's aware of the pain that their character letters have caused, that it was intended for the judge and never intended to undermine the victims and their testimony. They stated that Danny's family reached out to them months ago, asking them to write character letters of the guy they knew for 25 years. And Mila Lacunas made it very clear that they support victims. They have done this historically throughout their work and they will continue to do so. Ashton Kutcher apologizes for re-traumatizing the victims with their letters and Mila Kunis says their hearts go to all the victims of SA and Grape. Obviously, a lot of people were upset when they saw the letters, not just the victims, not just those involved, but people that really looked up to these two. With this comes a lot of people saying, oh, you shouldn't idolize people in Hollywood. I don't think you should be idolizing anybody period. If you haven't already seen the apology video, Ashton Kutcher did post it on his Instagram feed. Now, what does Ashton Kutcher have to do with this? Now, we all know that Ashton has had some questionable friendships in the past. And we also know that just because you attended a Diddy party doesn't mean you're at the after party. And we also know that Ashton has been using his celebrity platform to advocate for trafficking. But now you're telling me that his wife just moved out because of things that are about to unfold with the Diddy case. That's what they're telling me. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher have broken their silence about the rumors that Mila Kunis has moved out of their home together amid the Diddy scandal because Ashton is 
allegedly involved. Well, they kind of broke their silence. A rep for them spoke to people, which usually means it's coming directly from the source. Usually, not always. For a little background, a lot of photos of Ashton and Diddy together partying in the late 1990s and early 2000s have resurfaced amid all of the Diddy allegations. It appeared to the public that Ashton and Diddy had a close relationship, which obviously raised some red flags. And Ashton even made a joke about not being able to tell stories from Diddy parties on Hot Ones. With that being said, the source that spoke to people said that all of the rumors being spread about Mila and Ashton separating are absolutely absolutely ridiculous and false. The source also claims that Ashton should not be involved in the conversation when it comes to Diddy because he only really knew Diddy through a handful of social and business events. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher have finally responded to the breakup rumors that are currently circulating about them. So recently, there's been a ton of speculation that Mila Kunis allegedly moved out of the house she shares with Ashton Kutcher due to her knowing that horrible information about Ashton and Diddy would soon be coming out. If you didn't already know, Ashton partied a lot with Diddy in the early 2000s, and he and Mila Kunis also wrote letters of support for Danny Masterson when he was being faced with allegations as well. And now People Magazine is debunking all of this, saying that an insider close to the couple has spoken up about this, which typically means the couple's PR up. According to People Magazine, the insider made a statement saying that this is absolutely ridiculous and false. A second source close to the couple also made it a point to say that Ashton has only seen Diddy in a handful of social and business events, all of which have been documented by the media. I personally don't know how much I believe this due to the fact that multiple interviews have resurfaced of Ashton Kutcher talking about how wild Diddy parties are, even one where he's asked about what goes down in a Diddy party, and then he proceeds to think and say, ooh, I can't share that. Mila Kunitz and Ashton Kutcher are shaking. Right now they're in some controversy because they're saying Mila Kunitz moved out of their house. There's a lot to the story. There's a lot to this couple. Let's talk about it. So Mila Kunitz and Ashton Kutcher, at one point, I could say were definitely A-list stars, but they've been out of the public eye for a while now. These two have been married since 2014, a year after he divorced Demi Moore. We'll get to that in a second. But they got in trouble when they defended their friend, Danny Masterson, who was also a character on the show that they met on in 1998, That 70s Show. Now, this was a very controversial situation because he are two women, great them. And he's going down, what, 30 years for him, them, them two young ladies? I did that story. And he was also married to the Wilson Phillips girl. I remember that. So it was a controversy all the way around. But... Ashton and Mila, they had to come out and apologize because they wrote a letter to the judge as a character witness saying that Danny Masterson basically didn't do this and that he was a good guy. Turns out it was Agatha all along, okay? So they had to apologize for that. Then they laid low. Exactly what you're supposed to